Hey everybody, Ron here. It has been a while, hasn't it? I've had a lot of things going on just with um, being the father of two small kids and quite frankly, work has really been kicking my tail and um, it has sapped the life out of me. And so there just hasn't been a whole lot of activity over the past several months. And I apologize for that. But this video is to give you a quick update as to what's been going on in my video and podcast recording life, as well as just my personal gaming life. So on the content creation front, um, I've still been fairly active on Instagram because that's quite frankly the easiest thing for me to do just to take pictures and post things. But even with that, I haven't been as active as I have been previously. In case you don't know where to find me, it's at Ron Talks Tabletop. I put, put up pictures of my board games mainly, but sometimes role playing games and talk about my opinions and thoughts and uh, just ask questions and whatnot. So go check me out over there. On the Dice Tower front, I have not sent a video in in um, a couple of months, but good news if you are a fan of the Dice Tower's board game breakfast, I am finishing up a video for Long Shot to Dice Game in my affordable board game segment. That's a segment where I talk about board games with an MSRP of $30 or less, so they won't break the bank. And it's something that I truly enjoy and I'm passionate about because there are so many games right now that are like $100, $120, $150. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. For us to have a more accessible hobby, we need games that people can actually afford to buy at a wide variety of income ranges. So I mean, that's why I decided to start to do that segment. So um, go check out the Dice Tower. There's a lot of great content there, but um, that is the thing that I do. So I'll be looking out for that soon. Now on the podcast front, I haven't put anything up since August. I still have interest in doing the podcast. So I'll be honest with you, like I did a couple of interviews and while they were very enjoyable, that stuff is hard, man. And I try to do my research and it's like, you know, the stuff that I read on the internet, I, I see different um, designers and people in the industry talk about, well, can you please stop asking me these questions? You know, it's just hard to, um, keep up with all the stuff that these people are doing, all the interviews that they're on, so you, you can ask some actually interesting questions. And that's just hard work. It's work that I'm willing to do, but it's going to take me some time to get uh, to get better and better at it. So that took the wind out of my sails a little bit um, on that front. But I'm still doing the podcast. So um, the next one I hope to put together here, hope to get an episode or two up in May. I certainly have role-playing games to talk about, and I have board games to talk about, and I am going to combine both of those passions as well as talk about different topics. For example, one of the things I have been contemplating is, is modern D&D for me? And the short answer is, I don't believe so. I don't believe that the modern Dungeons & Dragons is for me. I have evidence for that, and you know what? I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, I'll still play 5th edition. I'll play other editions of D&D, like I'm playing Old School Essentials right now, having a whole bunch of fun with that. But D&D is what happens at the table. It is not what company owns the intellectual property. So that's something I, I want to talk about. I think I'm going to talk about that on an upcoming episode of the podcast. Uh, I have plenty of role-playing games to talk about. You folks know that I have the uh, One Ring and have been playing a campaign of that, been having a blast. So I'll definitely talk about that. Um, I will talk about Old School Essentials. I've only played it once. That's been a whole thing. Another thing I'm interested in talking about is a couple of solo skirmish level games that are basically RPG light. I may have talked about Rangers of Shadow Deep, but also there's a game called Five Par Six from Home and the fantasy analog, Five Leagues from the Borderlands. So those are games that I'm interested in talking about a little bit more on the channel. As far as role-playing games are concerned, I think I want to revisit Prowlers and Paragons Ultimate Edition. Just kind of do an update on my impressions. 
Maybe I'll redo my uh, overview videos. Uh, speaking of superhero games, I got the Marvel Multiverse RPG playtest. And I have some thoughts about that, but I'm not going to dunk on it or anything. I understand, like, you know, games are hard and um, games of IPs are hard. And there are factors, I think, that come into play when you do um, role-playing games based on IPs. And Marvel is a huge IP right now. So that's all I'm going to say about that right now. Yeah, so you know, on a personal note, I may have a big change coming up soon here. It'll be of a great benefit to my family, and we'll see how that goes as well. And if something comes to that, I will let you folks know too. So that's all I got for you. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope to bring more content to the channel soon. And until next time, see you later.